To introduce the greatest line of new equipment in New Holland history, here's the biggest capacity forage harvester ever built, the Model 800, with one, two, three, four, five all new harvesting attachments. Watch the Model 800 chopping rye. Look how cleanly the six-foot direct-cut unit harvests this crop. This champion welcomes a job in extra heavy alfalfa, or even tough pangola grass, too. That belt-driven, four-bat steel reel lays the crop over the cutter bar at just the right instant for a clean, sure cut. You can really move fast without missing any of the crop. With a full load in a matter of minutes, you head back for the silo. You're pulling New Holland's all-new, multi-purpose, three-and-a-half-ton forage box. And at the trench silo, you have yourself the easiest kind of unloading you could want. Fast, smooth, and perfect for packing. No trench silo? All right. How about using the bunk feeder attachment to pour that chopped crop into the new Model 21 hopper blower? Want to cover even more ground? Just hook up this biggest of all units, the eight-foot direct cut attachment. This is built like the six-foot unit except for width. You get bigger capacity with a wider cut and you save both fuel and time. And this is New Holland's new Model 22 belt feed blower with optional power takeoff. Here's the kind of capacity you want to keep up with the 800, 48 tons of silage an hour. Now let's watch this harvester work in a cornfield. Whether your crop is laid flat by a storm or standing 15 feet high, this one row unit gets every stalk. Looks like a field has been hand cut when you get through. And those wide snouts make it mighty easy to keep centered on the row. Hey, it would be great if this baby could handle two rows, wouldn't it? Well, seeing's believing, they say. And farmers who field tested this two row unit say you have to see it to believe it. They said there just isn't any faster, easier way in the world to clean up a field of corn. Or a field of windrows, for that matter. This pickup attachment handles windrows as heavy as you please. Here's the same design of pickup found on the famous New Holland balers. And that means gentle handling of your crop. More of the feed value getting back to barn or silo. Your 800 works like a horse, no matter whether it gets its power from engine or tractor power takeoff. And the same thing's true of the 800's time-tested brothers, the rugged, dependable New Holland Model 601 and 611 forage harvesters. Engine Model 601, or power takeoff 611. In standing crop. Row crops. Or handling windrows. There's a New Holland forage harvester built to do a better job for farmers who don't need the bigger capacity of the 800. One of these was built for you. One of the 16 champion engine and power takeoff forage harvesters by New Holland was engineered with your job in mind. Just what the cattlemen and dairymen ordered. A complete line of spreaders so they could pick the right one for their particular spreading job. First there's the big new 130 bushel New Holland spreader. The kind that can help you cut spreading trips in half. Here's top capacity for the cattlemen or dairymen with a fairly large herd. Rather have four wheels? You get the same spreader mounted on a New Holland five-ton wagon. Both models are power takeoff driven, and there's no rear arch to jam even the heaviest load. In both spreaders, you get convenient, easy rope control, a patented New Holland exclusive. Adaptable to any tractor, this brings control of the spreader right to your fingertips. Both models have sturdy steel sides, rolled and reinforced at top. This kind of ruggedness is built right through these machines. From front dashboard, 
Back to the beaters that give you the best spreading job possible. And both of these machines can be used as self-unloading forage box or bunk feeder in grass and corn season. Now if you'd rather have a fast, sure-footed, 100 bushel spreader, take a look at the New Holland 200. Whether you pick ground drive or power takeoff model, you're getting a lot of machine built to spread manure where, when, and how you want it. Here's a wider, easier to load spreader that can handle your toughest spreading job. Low loading height, widespread paddles angled for better distribution, heavier construction with steel sides, and dense Georgia pine floor and sideboards. These are the features you like to find in a spreader big enough to cut down on your trips to the field.